Hi, I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. So today I'll be showing you how to tie your shoelaces. This might sound crazy, but chances are you've been tying your shoes incorrectly your entire life. Depending on the type of shoe you're wearing, there's a specific way to tie your shoelaces so that they lay cleanly across your shoe and won't come undone. Sloppy shoelaces can detract from an otherwise sharp outfit. If you follow me for any length of time, then you know this is one of my biggest pet peeves. I've even had a client mention it on a national talk show. You paying a woman to dress me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, She's worth uh, every penny. When you but say we, who's she, we? Look, she made me tuck in my shoelaces. Oh, really? I've never She was done very that. important to her. <laughs> I go, really? She yeah. goes, yes. <laughs> it ruins the whole look. So let's get started with cotton or nylon laces, which are typically found on most sneakers. Most of us were taught to tie our shoelaces where we bring the lace over the loop and through. This is actually creates a very weak knot that has a higher chance of it coming untied. Also, the laces lay more vertically as opposed to across the shoe, which now it just looks terrible. The correct way to tie your shoelaces is to start out how you normally tie your shoes, but now you wanna bring the lace under and then over the loop towards your body instead of over and away with the other knot. So when it's tied correctly, the bow or loops lay horizontally across your shoe. This is a much stronger knot that will actually get tighter as you wear it and lays cleanly across your shoe so it won't detract or draw attention away from the rest of your outfit. If your shoes have round laces, which are normally waxed or leather, like these dress shoes here, you'll wanna use the same knot I just showed you, but with one small addition. First, tie them in the same knot I just discussed. Remember to go under and then over towards your body. And you'll wanna make sure when you're pulling that the laces, so the loops and the laces are equal length. Now, this is where the magic happens. You'll probably think this is silly, but I promise it's important. What you wanna do is gather the laces and tuck them inside the outer lace stay, like so. This will give the shoe a clean appearance that complements the formality of your dress shoes, regardless of whether you're wearing a suit, wool pants, dark wash jeans, or chino pants. It's very distracting and annoying to me personally when I see loops are visible on a pair of dress shoes. Menswear and looking sharp is all about the details, and it's these teeny tiny little things that really sets apart a well-dressed gentleman from a regular guy. If you have suede laces, which are typically found on boat shoes or loafers, then you've probably been irritated by them constantly coming untied. Start out with your laces tied using the knot I've been showing you. If you have longer laces, then you can actually do a double knot, which will really secure that knot and keep it from coming undone. Now, the problem with suede laces is when you tie a double knot, it actually tends to create a really chunky knot in the center. So if that's the case, then go back to a single knot like we have here, and you'll use the next step. Now, this next step will also apply to shorter laces like this. What you'll wanna do is take a bottle of super glue and place the glue right here in the front as well as in the back of the knot. This will really secure the laces and keep it from coming undone. The bows of your shoelaces shouldn't be much wider than the width of your shoes, like I have here. Now, so once you tie them, and you have the proper width for your bows. If you have excess length in your laces, just simply cut them off so they look like this. So with boots, you'll be using the same knot I've been showing you, but there's two additional things to do depending on how you'll be wearing them. If you're gonna be wearing them with pants that aren't cuffed, then tie them how you normally would. And what you wanna do is in order to ensure that your laces don't stick out from underneath your pants, you wanna just double knot it. So I'm gonna double knot it right here. It's a nice, clean look. Or if you're gonna be wearing your boots with cuffed pants, check out my video on how to cuff your pants for details. You wanna start by basically stopping just below the top hook and you're gonna actually cross your laces over and 
run them around the back. If your boots have this tab, you can run them through it. It doesn't really matter. Um, but run them back and then to the front and you're going to tie the knot I've been showing you. Now it gets a little tough because your laces are pretty short at this point, but it's very much possible to do. And this will create a nice small lace like bow, which is what you want because when you have cupped pants, your laces, your the bows will be exposed. So you really want it as clean and small as possible. So those are the two ways to tie your boots. So those are the best ways to tie your shoelaces so they won't come untied and they won't detract from your outfit. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, remember, give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.